Good morning, YouTube. Well, I'm back down in uh, outside of Lake Havasu at Craigie Wash. And um, when I left Death Valley, uh, I came up to Pahrump and spent the night in the same parking lot where I'd fixed the, the broken uh, injector line. And uh, it was cold. It's uh, a little higher elevation. And uh, it was down around 40. Might have dipped below 40. Um, Anyway, I moved uh, down here. I'm headed to Ehrenberg uh, for the campsite cleanup uh, from the December 23rd till the beginning of January. Um, going to clean up an uh, area that the, uh, the locals had trashed. Um, from what the videos I've seen, it's, it's pretty messed up. So, uh, with, that's in partnership with freecampsites.net and BLM. So we're going to make it really nice down there, but it's going to be some work. Uh, anyway, before I go down there, um, I need to do a little, a few little things for myself again. Um, I did pick up uh, another piece of wood so I can finish that wall and get that hall area looking nice. But also, uh, when I had that fuel line break, I lifted the cover. It sprayed diesel all over. Um, it leaked into the carpet that I had over there, which was the same recycled carpet that I have on the engine cover. Um, so I tore that out, washed this whole area down with some uh, Dawn dish detergent to try to get the diesel out of here. And uh, I did um, for the most part. But what I'm going to do, I, I went to Home Depot and I picked up a, an area rug, indoor-outdoor carpeting, and some uh, carpet backing. I'm going to put new carpet there, but I'm also going to carpet the stairs. Uh, I'm going to cover the wall and this wall. Um, I hopefully, uh, that's going to look at, make it look a little nicer coming in. And it's going to uh, keep uh, maybe some of the sound out because the engine's right behind this. Um, there's nothing really deadening much of the sound through that, uh, through the floor around. So I'm hoping that helps some. Uh, in the meantime, I have to play around making um, some uh, templates. So I'm going to clear this stuff out of here, and then uh, we'll get the... Uh, I got some paper, and we'll start uh, making a template. Well, the fun part of making this template is this is pretty straightforward coming up, but this angle is going to mess me up. Like I said, I want to do the walls too. But if I bring this up as one piece, then I got to cut a, a triangle out of it so it fits here and then continues on up here. Um, I've got some angle iron that I'm going to put across here um, because that's a high wear spot and also down here in the, in the uh, opening. And I'm going to go right over the top of the rubber floor. Uh, these screws are pretty well rusted, and it's one more layer. It's not going to hurt. Um, I am making it somewhat so it's removable. So anyway, I think what I'm going to do is do it that way. I'm going to do this wall up to here, and I'll do this wall out to here. And this is going to be permanent. The walls I'm going to have, I'm going to try to glue them down and make them stick, uh, which will be interesting, <laughs> to say the least. So let me cut a piece of uh, paper. I've got this big roll of paper, which is way more than I need, uh, and we'll start laying out the templates. Unfortunately, this is aluminum. I was going to use magnets. I think there's steel in behind here, so I might be able to use it here and there. Um, where I can't, I'll use uh, tape. Okay, for those doing trying to do a template, I start with the easy thing. We've got a nice sharp corner here, um, so I do that now. Down here, we come to the corner of the step. So the easiest thing to do is you push it into the corner, paper into the corner, take your knife, and come on up. Where the top of the step is about there and then because it's right along the floor 
we can cut this back right along the top of the step. And get rid of that whole piece. And then move on to the next one. And if we have to do a little bit of trimming, that's why we're here. Now, I'm not going to worry about the top right yet uh, because we've got a little bit of a, a thing up there. something like I just did and you get off just a little bit that's where your tape comes in handy a little piece of tape you can lay it right along on here so that you've got a nice sharp edge and uh, we just keep on going okay now the top I've got a way more paper that I need for that little edge. So I'm just going to come up here and make it a little bit more manageable. Just get rid of a lot of this extra. Now we can fold this down and get it tight into the corner. A little bit too much here. You get it tight into the corner. I can just cut that off. And just follow this right around. So there's my first template. So that's this wall here. Um, when I cut this, uh, keep it in mind, this is gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be the foam backing and then the, the carpet over the top. So this should be pretty close to the finish size for the carpet, where uh, the foam backing, uh, because I'm gonna glue this all on, um, I'm probably going to put that, uh, I may have to cut that and trim that just a little bit. So, and this, uh, the engine cover comes down to here, so it's okay having the, the, the uh, carpet be, you know, a little bit thicker. All right, I'm going to make the, uh, the rest of the templates, and we'll go from there. Oh, uh, one other thing, mark your templates. I'm putting out so I know that this is the side that faces out. Very important because if I'm going to cut the carpet from the back, I want to have this reversed. Um, the carpet padding doesn't matter. So there's that. Let's move on and I will do the rest of them the same way. And uh, then we'll, uh, we'll get into cutting the carpet. So as you can see, this one is going to be a little more complicated and so what I'm going to do is do it in pieces. I'm going to do each step at a time and tape them together as I go and that way um, smaller pieces a little more manageable. I did this in three three pieces for each step and because I got this weird angle there's actually going to be a triangle cut out of this piece to make that fit. Uh, I drew a line 
at the base of each step because I think what I'm going to do is uh, cut the pad and put pad down in individual pieces but I'm going to cut the carpet to be one continuous piece so it's going to flow over each edge or each edge and I've got a uh, I got some cleats to put along the back to hold it nice and tight so it will be uh, removable like I said aluminum uh, angle iron here and at the top where there's more wear and also up here because there's two pieces of carpet fitting so now I gotta get this mess cleaned up and uh, do the template over there so as you can imagine uh, this up around the driver's area is going to be really hard if I try to do it in one piece. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, uh, a page from my buddy Mud Springer's uh, playbook and I'm going to piece pieces in. I'm going to use smaller pieces, put it all in here, tape it down. Uh, it would have been nice. I had the perfectly cut out uh, carpet that was in there before would have been nice, but I didn't think that uh, I really wanted to cart around this diesel soaked um, Carpet that I had so uh, I'm gonna start putting in little pieces in here and uh, work it all out I've got all the patterns laid out and now I just got to uh, Cut these all out and then we'll see how well they fit Well, there's the uh, the pad. It's sort of just set in there, dry fit. Uh, so I got to adhere this to the walls. Um, it's all fitting. All the carpet goes in on top of that. But uh, it's 3:30 in the afternoon. Sun's going to be going down pretty quick. Well, if the sun was actually out, uh, so I'm going to leave this uh, for tomorrow and. Uh, not in any hurry to get anywhere. So we'll pick up uh, in the morning and uh, hopefully it's not going to be raining. So, so see you uh, in a second. Well, welcome back to day two of the new, uh, new front end here or new floor. Um, what I'm doing is I, I just gave it a good sweep. Um, but the uh, what I've got to do is like here you can see and actually worse on the other side you can see where there's just crud build up on the walls uh, I am going to uh, give it a quick sand and the uh, well there you go <laughs> I'm gonna give it a quick sand and then I'm gonna wipe it down with ugh, some acetone to take off the uh, any oils uh, clean up get it nice and clean because what I'm gonna do is at least in this area is I'm going to uh, try this Gorilla Glue it's a, um, a contact cement so I am going to uh, apply it to the walls and to the back of the um, the backing you know, the foam and glue that on and then I'm going to glue use the same thing and hopefully be able to glue the carpet to the backing um, supposedly it's it if I put it on both sides it'll stick real well uh, it can be pulled off uh, I don't plan on pulling it off but in this area I want it adhered really well um, it's a very thin carpet, so I should be able to sweep it for the most part, occasionally vacuum it. Uh, in the driving area, I'm going to do something different because that tends to uh, get wet. There's some place there's water coming in. I can't figure out where. So I'm going to glue it, uh, the back to the uh, carpet, and then I'm going to Velcro it down. And hopefully that'll hold it in place. The old stuff I put screws in, um, and that worked. But uh, when I had to take it up, it was a pain trying to find the screws. 
and uh, so I'm going to try some industrial Velcro and we'll see how that goes. So let me uh, give this a quick sand and uh, wash it with the acetone. One note, if you're going to use acetone or anything like that, wear some uh, nitrile gloves. When I painted for all those years, uh, we used acetone uh, for a lot of things and I um, mean that stuff will just dry your hands right out. Um, not good. So let me uh, get the sand in this and then we'll uh, I'll wipe it down. And the other important thing about acetone <laughs> is uh, make sure you got a lot of ventilation. I mean this stuff evaporates really quick but uh, you really don't want to be breathing this stuff in too much. which isn't really a big problem out here in the uh, Arizona desert is it will evaporate really quick but I got the cat locked up so she can't get into the glue and uh, also keep the uh, keep her out of the fumes as much as possible I'm hoping that the, the contact cement is supposed to uh, adhere to just about everything. So let's hope. And the reason that I sanded is uh, to uh, give the glue something to grip to. It's you want it's like when you're putting on primer uh, in your painting prep is a lot of it so having the little scratches in the metal gives it uh, something to grab onto a rough surface Okay, so you spray this contact cement on the back of, of, uh, back of the pad, spray it on the, on the floor, and stick it all down. But I have found, I don't know whether it wasn't right, see it's not sticking. So what I've been doing, which is why the glove, whoop, is uh, spray a little bit more down and uh, that makes it a little stickier and sticks down better. It might just be that I waited a little too long, but what it does is get I get it all covered here. And I'll put the carpeting in, and uh, I am not going to. I'm going to stick the carpet to the walls. I'm not going to stick it to here. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to hold it down with that. So that noise you hear that's my phone telling me it's lunchtime so I'm gonna get these last couple pieces down here and go have some lunch and we'll pick up after that well that's about wraps this one up um, as you can see I've got it so that it's uh, definitely looks nicer um, that Gorilla Glue did not it held the um, the foam backing but did not hold the carpet to the backing and uh, the reason uh, this is screwed in is that my batteries died so I need to uh, find a place to charge up 
That's uh, the downside to not having a generator. But on the other hand, I got to do laundry. Mine is usually a plug. So um, I am going to pick up all, all this, neaten up, and um, get ready to move tomorrow. I am moving down to Ehrenberg. I'm a little early for the uh, campsite cleanup, but I might as well get down there a little early and uh, scope things out and relax. So uh, see you down the road, YouTube. I think that's it for this project.